you that feel like you're too good to, to start, you know, in a mail room or to start wherever you can start. You know, it ain't it ain't it ain't so much of how you start, but it's how you finish. And that's that remind me of even David Geffen, you know, one of the mm -hmm. the, the biggest dudes, you know, uh had one of the biggest labels in the in the in uh in the industry started in the mail room as well. Right. You know what I mean? I even started in a mail room uh with a job that I have. So yes, I never knew that. That's, that's yeah, crazy. yeah, man. Yeah, I, I, I did. So, you know, it's it's uh you know, the real value in, in a situation like that is to to know that having access and getting in the building is so powerful. It's so right. powerful to have access, and like you say, you know, once you have access, you know, the the, the sky is the limit, even right. if it's the sky. You know what right. I mean? So absolutely. You know, once again, you know, embrace the opportunity that's before you, and and then from there, you know what I mean. You never know where one will land, man. And, right. Uh, you know, I salute you, man. I salute you from. Uh, you know, stay in the course because, like you know, it's it's so many obstacles out there that try and, uh, and I know along your journey tried to get in the way. You know what I mean? Discourage you. Absolutely. Uh, uh, you know the opportunities and different things that that exist in the hood to uh, try to take one away from the big picture. Right. So uh, you know, wisdom is the key. I'm a you know that's one of that's part of my prayer. I'm a praying man. Right. You know what I mean? And, and one thing about prayer is free. So I always advise everybody to exercise that gift of prayer. It don't right. cost you nothing. But right. but the power that exists where that's concerned is astronomical. And that's one thing I do every night. I pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Mm. Man, because I understood and understand that, you know, I didn't make it to college. Right. And I didn't make it to, you know, all of those... Uh, different uh schools and things to get them 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 degrees you right. know what i mean but right. wisdom one thing about wisdom you know what i mean it's uh <laughs> boy it's astronomical man and I, i'm thankful that i was blessed with it i'm thankful that you was blessed with it and at the end of the day man you know all the way from the east coast to down south you know when we unite the two then we know how to get something done, man. And that's, that's, that's heavy, you know what I mean? And that bring me to mind, like you mentioned the, the mail room. A lot of people uh, and that may be watching, you know, those are, yeah. Well, look here, I want to uh, set this thing off, man, like I always do. You know, of course, uh, you know about my loyalty movement and uh, with, with, with the spirits and everything, but you know, that word loyalty goes so much deeper than uh, my drink and the celebration of, of being able to, you know, toast and different things with, with real people, man. And I always start this thing off by asking, you know, uh, the person I'm speaking with, what that word loyalty mean to you, bro? Hey, man, man. I, I, I heard great things about you, you know what I mean? I, I hear you've been uh, not only talking that talk, but walking that walk, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man, that's heavy, man. I mean, I, you know, it's the first time anybody uh, started it off with the mother, you know what I mean? But uh, that's so heavy because, you know, when I think about it, that's where it begun with me too, you know what I mean? I always tell everybody it was my mother, you know, that, you know, it was a time that I was willing to die, man, for my mother mm -hmm. to have a house because I grew up in the projects. And uh, if it's anybody on this planet that has been loyal to us, you know, definitely mama, you know, the one that, that gave us birth, the one that was loyal to, enough to us for nine months and carried us, you know what I right. mean? And then we know, you know, all that happened from that. So that's beautiful, mm -hmm. man, you know, every word that you said. Um, I have another question, though, because, uh, you know, there's so many that's, you know, uh, uh, checking us out right now, and mm -hmm. 
you are definitely a person that has, uh, you know, been around for a while, you know what I mean? And everybody want our uh, glory, but they don't know our story. You know, if you could, you know, enlighten us a little bit, you know, in a mail room and to be able to, to, to stand strong and wither the storm, the trials, the tribulations, and be able to do like we're doing today, you know, uh, talk to one another, trying to encourage and inspire all of those that's uh, witnessing, you know, our, our story, then, you know, that's, that's where I'm at today, you know what I mean? Because at some point, you know, we all have different gifts and we exercise our gifts. Right. And then um, there come a time in life where you have to live out your purpose. Absolutely. And, that's that's where I'm at today, and you know what I mean. That's why I take the time, I, you know, to have these conversations, man, to to be a beacon of light for all that's, uh, you know, that's that's watching us because they have to know that they can do the same thing you and I have done and doing, and 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 go above and beyond. Hey, man, I appreciate those compliments, man. You know what I mean because wisdom at the end of the day, you know. That is the key. You know, I've, I've seen so many people have money and no wisdom. And, you know, it's a matter of time. A fool and his money are soon to call. You know, I, uh, you know, it brings joy to my heart, man, to, to know that uh, they still exist. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I really, man, appreciate you taking this time, man, and, uh, you know, encouraging Everybody, I, I don't want to keep you. You know what I mean? I, you, you know, it's one thing about the real, you know. What I mean? Yeah, and, and, and with that being said, and I, and I, I feel it in my spirit when I be uh, kicking it with the real. Jay Prince knew the plan. He walked in the studio. He asked Jazz Prince to stand by the door to make sure don't nobody come in. He sat there. He told Cameron, like, Cameron, you need to realize, like, end this beef in what we got going on or else it's gonna get deadly everybody know jay prince got mob ties all through the city everybody know how jay prince get down it's a lot of people who thought that cameron wasn't gonna speak out cameron jumped up and told him man we don't need you making no interviews we don't need you saying nothing on no social media indicating that you feel some type of way about us and what we saying about your boxer Nobody could get mad at how Jay Prince responded to somebody who he really rocked with. But at the same time, we know for a fact we need to understand this is a revolving door. And it's like these guys are 50, 60 years old arguing over who said what. This is hearsay. I want everybody to know. If you rocking with Cameron, let me know down in the comment section. If you rocking with New York, drop them New Yorks down in the comment section. Let me know if you feel that Jay Prince... He was wrong for what he said, but in conjunction to what Cameron basically defended himself for, it all goes to show Cameron ain't bagging down for nobody. Cameron's still standing 10 toes down. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel.